Hey guys and welcome back. Today we're going to be spawning in on Rotten Fields with no add-ons as a clown with a bit of a different build as opposed to what I normally use. Unfortunately this map is not very good for me. However, I do have some okay perks that might come back to the mid to the late game depending on how well things are looking. This is a really awkward start. I spawned roughly in the middle. It's going to be somebody down there to the left but i got a gut feeling I have missed somebody being a little sneaky around here. Even though it's very close to my spawn, I still think there may be somebody lurking around there. So I'm going to come straight back in to this generator right here. Keeping in mind, I'm paying attention to scratch marks, any form of information provided. And there you go. I don't have anything. I saw the Jenny miss. Going to sidestep. Two people. I need to make a decision. Do I want to down one or do I want to go for the other? Now here's the play. I'm going to bottle through this. I'm going to sidestep through here and play this. Did you take back pathing? You didn't. I'm going to do that one there too. I'm going to sidestep. Now you have to have a really good dead hard cutie. Let's see it. No, no dead hard. We'll take the M1 on her back just to make sure she can't make the play. Works out well for me. Unfortunately, I'm revealing the fact that I don't have bamboozled and I won't be able to use that later on against this player to trick them. Now, we got regression on that generator. I'm going to try and hook her a little bit to the right here. If I can get her to the next hook, that would be a dream. Now, a lot of people would be like, why don't you hook her on that hook right there? It was much closer, and this is a gamble. One person taking a body block, and she would wiggle off. However, taking her here allows me to check on this other generator to my right-hand side, and these two, and I try and apply pressure here if I need to. And guess what? I sure as hell needed to. I don't see anything here at all. I'm going to take a little bit of repression. Brutal strength, nice. We're going to check on this other one. I'm going to bottle right there, just in case. Looks like this has been worked on by two people. I see Scratch is leading left. That's fine. We'll go for it. We got one bottle. That's all we need. How are you going to play this jungle gym, my dear? You're not. You're going to just keep running. We're going to get a bottle there and a hit in the back here. She won't make it through a medium vault. We'll take that free hit. Hide my light. Walk up. Come for the lunch. And because she greeted at it, we got the moonwalk M1 down on her. Should have played a little bit further away. Made her think I was coming from the other direction by showing my light that way. And we kind of outplayed her there. Discordance tells, not discordance, Surge tells me they worked on the Jenny to the right. I want to check on this one that's nearly done here in front of me too. These guys are group healing, which does hurt a little bit. I need to fill my bottles. And time is definitely of the essence right now. I can hear the Jenny is nearly done. I want to check on the one on the right. I also want to fill my bottles. I know my corrupt intervention has expired. Welcome to the average clown game where time management is so important. i quickly check if anyone waited behind. I'm going to go right back towards the hook. I'm going to fill my bottles in the middle of the field and I'm going to make a play off what information is provided because they're going to come back and tap that and we should have somebody cutting through any second now through the middle of the map. I don't see it. We'll take the bottle. There you go. Scratches right here coming in. Tap the generator. Try and make sure I got the bottle cutting off. Never mind. She's gone all the way around. I kind of want to put a bottle here. It's a little off with it too. She tap in both of them. That's good. She's giving me a reason to hang around the hook. I'll allow it. Good play by her, but we got the lunch here in the back. Let's make sure she's trading and let's get surge regression on both of these gens. Or at least one of them. We'll take that. We lost another generator. She's waited a lot. I reckon this is BT. She's waiting around for a BT hit. So I'm actually going to outweigh her BT. If I can get a body block or if I can get a, a grab, it'll stop. It's a fast fall, so I can't grab a fast fall. I might get slapped with DS though. Keeping in mind that that other gen was nearly completed as well. We'll take a hook on this one, but we're going to hook her. In fact, we're going to hook her right here. We're going to hook her right here. There's that generator behind me to the left. They're really not giving me a lot to work with here, ladies and gentlemen. I don't have a really good 3-gen. You know, it's actually not bad when you look around thinking about the 4-gen that I currently have available. Knowing I've got a guy injured and downed here. I might actually... Oh, that's unbreakable. That's unbreakable and soul guard. That's good. She can only do that once, ladies and gentlemen, and she can't do that anymore. Got this guy hooked in between what could possibly be my winning strat. I know a guy just completed that generator. I'm playing pretty close to the hook, but at the same time, I'm thinking about my mid to my late game. These guys, I've only got one person injured, and that was the person who was on the ground, who no longer has unbreakable soul guards. Somebody's here. You can see the scratch marks. I don't know what direction they went. If I could force two hooks for the price of one right now, that's going to be massive value for me, based on the fact the other guy got up. Scratch is coming around the side. Another generator done, getting me a little bit closer to my three gen strat. See a Claudette. Going to throw a bottle nice in front of her. Not going to chase her. Remember, I want two hooks out of the one player here, and I want to look for my late game, which is going to be here. Scratch is right in front of me right now. Not going to chase her. Going to get another bottle out. Going to try and force this struggle as much as I can. Unfortunately, playing close to the hook, and there it looks to be a savior. I'm going to try and make sure I body block. I stuffed it up. There you go. Let's do it, darling. Get a direct impact. She's only in struggle. 
looking for another sandbag hit. Make sure I take a player down. It's important. This one probably has VT. The other one in front does not have VT. Just get the smoke in the way. This is clearly a borrowed time save. See if I can get a nice hit on the guy's back right here if I can. Unfortunately, I'm going to have to mind game it and come in like that. Unfortunately, I missed it, but we got the body block and she is going to be going down. That's two people on death hook on one side of the board in between my three gen. The other guy has been picked up, but I can repeat the exact same process I just did. Hook her in between the three gen and play around it. Only one person can take a body block hit. Now there's multiple people that can take a body block hit, so I have to change my plan and my what I'm going to do right now. If I took this one over here, two body blocks and they're off. Got to be very clever about my movement. The question is, where did they go? Did they stack on healing? I need to get my bottles refilled. I don't want to break that pallet over there. That Jenny's regressed. They all grouped healed. So I need to take a hit and a rotation. There you go. One on the generator at least. Let's see what information. Scratch is leading left. Where did you go? You stopped. We've got the Claudette over here too. Get a bottle on the Claudette. Try and take a free hit on Claude and see what she decides to do. She hasn't been hooked, so she might be looking for the trade. One person on that objective. One person upstairs. Everybody full health. Got to be mindful that there's no one sneaking past me right here. And there you go. Scratch is right in front of me on this rock. Let's see where you are. You already got past. Well done. She's going to be able to make this, and I can't stop her unless I get direct impact. Looks like it's going to be a really good borrowed time save, so I have to take a hit on the other player, which I missed, unfortunately. And now that's going to really hurt my 3-gen for my late game. I cannot play this knowing that there's somebody working on this objective over here. I need to come in and go for a very far bottle and play around that, because this is my 3-gen that'll win me the game. Fortunately, there was no one on it. Still do have a little bit of gen control, not a lot, and losing everyone from the borrowed time and possibly the DS is going to hurt me there. The guy who's injured is going to run, he's going to hopefully get a heal, and then he's going to come back in. I'm going to regress this or break the pallet. I'm going to look at doing this, and I'm going to look to play around my objectives right now that'll win me the game. That is not in my equation. I haven't been on that side of the board. It's a very difficult map for me to try and deal with, and knowing that these guys are playing really well together is going to hurt me as well. I'm going to check on this gen. That sounds like two people to me, not one. Heard that sidestep at the last second. See if I can get a nice hit in the back. Looks like I can. Got the pallet. Got the hit. Got the pallet gone. I'm gonna get regression on my objective. And I gotta check on the other one too. That's good. That's good. I got two people on death hook. They're grouping their heal. The way they beat me is they split up and they work in different areas. The way I win is they stack under surge and I split pressure through injuring multiple targets. Girl running to my right. Let's take a free hit. <laughs> <laughs> gotta be mindful of my time management. It's gotta be what wins or loses me the game. Bad movement by her, great movement by me. Sidestep, wait for the dead hard. No dead hard. Surge regression on my generator. Good, let's pick her up. Let's take her closer to the gen that I know that there might be people on. The one a little bit further down there. Save the hook to my right. And if I could actually kill a player, this guy's only in struggle. That means there's three people on death hook right now. I'm gonna be very careful about what is going on. Alright, we got protection on our 3-gen. This is good. I see scratches. I don't know where they're going because of the corn. It blocks my line of sight. We'll break this. And as long as no one's working on the gen on the left, we're okay. Looks like we're leading all the way over here to the left. Somebody just sidestepping around behind the back end of me. It's going to be the Claudette who's not even been hooked. I'm going to let her do her thing. I'm going to play around the fact that these three gens are close together. And the other guy's just healed, so they're probably working on that other generator. Claudette tapped the gen here, which is fine. Looks like she's coming in for the save to play on them. Can't see her scratches. She's leading to the right-hand side. We'll come right back in under the hook here. Make sure we're playing close to this. Somebody tapped it. It was already regressed. We know Claudette's going to try and make a hero play here. We're going to most likely look for the trade. All three people on three different generators. If that doesn't show you good teamwork, I don't know what is. I'm going to need this player to be eliminated, and I'm going to have to make a really good play here, knowing the fact that I'm under the hook, and I know there's no one on this gen. Once she dies, they can work on the gen on the right. That's Claudette scratches. I'm guessing it means there's no one on the gen in the corner. I need to go right in and check on the gen on the right-hand side once I secure the death. They're working really well as a team. Unfortunately. I am forced to be under the hook right now. Let's see what kind of plays they want to make. Didn't take the grab. Make sure I take direct impact. Because direct impact. That was so unlucky, chat. But the good news is this guy's on death hook. And he won't be able to make anything. Good body blocked by this other girl. And I am losing a generator right now. She needs to make a really good dead hard. Unfortunately, that was really good time synchronization of them both. Show me a good dead hard. No, we get surge regression on two of our gens. And we lose another one. And we kill one player. It's not necessarily worth it. Only two people came from a save. So that looks like my three gen strat is going to be down the drain right now. Killing one player at least is going to help me. Them stacking on either one of these two gens is going to hurt. I know the generator on the back left hand side was nearly done. But I need to check on the other one a little bit further down on the right hand side. Because if they stack and they get this gen done, this is going to be game over. I'm going to be walking away with one, maybe two kills if I'm super lucky. And that is going to be a GG's well played from my behalf. There is not much I can really do to come back from the scenario that I'm currently in. Knowing they're stacking on a generator right now that is about to complete. And I need to check for the other girl. And I didn't see her. And I'm going to take a hit on this one's back. 
I'm going to have to go back and regress that generator and see how things go. If they go through the board, I am going to be at a lost cause right now. We've got a lot of split pressure. They played really well together. I'm out of bottles. I have a smallest window right now to refill my bottles. I'm going to do that if they're smart. They're going to stack, regroup, heal, and then they're going to apply split pressure to two different objectives. See scratches on the side of the barn. If they go through the map and tap this generator, that is me going to be done and dusted. And that is exactly what is happening based on the fact I have no pressure on this side of the map. What I do know is I have an injured player, and if I play this really well, I'm going to be able to maybe make a mind game, take the medium ball, take the hit in the back, take the surge stability and regression on another player that is going to be on death hook, and then I can go back through the map and hopefully apply pressure where these two are not going to be stacking. I can hear that guy working on that generator right now, and as long as there's only one of them on it, I'm still going to have a chance at the end of this game, but it looks like we are going to be versing two people on the generator, and that is going to be a person crouching and hiding behind it who is also on death hook. That is going to be a core dead. I want to get pressure on both these players, that way they're indecisive about the movement. The generator is not nearly done because i got surge on it as well. This split pressure might be what decides what happens in this trial and if I win or if I lose it knowing Claudia is out of position right now she is my she's my pick hide my light a tiny bit if I can get the pallet nice and early she already left that's fine the other girl could be anywhere as well keeping in mind she hasn't tapped on a generator right now and there's a lot for me to deal with over here I need to get her down and pull out right now and apply pressure back towards these other two objectives as quickly as possible I don't know where she is I don't want to waste time looks like scratches are already going through the map on the right hand side I'm going to cut through directly in the center right now if I see anybody heal I know they can't actually heal so they might have gone to the basement in the middle of the map as well and I can see scratch marks right in front of me which is very important for me to be mindful of my movement and my rotation she can't the god pallet we have brutal strength we're going to doubt at a much quicker rate Let's see what she does. Claudette isn't on a generator. I got a little bit of time, a small window. She can actually make the vault on this. There's nothing I can do about it. She took really bad piling there. I'm going to be able to down her right now. Let's see the dead heart she's going to be going for. Is she going to make it? She did not. We're going to down her. We're going to be looking for Claudette right now. The snowball on refilling our bottles right now, knowing that the hatch is across the board and the guy that I just caught is on, not on death. Well, he is on death hook and Claudette is not. I see a couple of scratches in front of me right now. Let's see if we can commit to this tracking. We're looking at the scratches coming all the way over here to the right hand side. What information do we have? It looks like he's sidestepped back and on the left. We're following these scratches as well. We can. We've got the blood now. We're going to be right up behind him. Looks like they're going to be in a bit of a sticky situation. We can see a little bit further down here. She might have been holding onto a sprint burst. And she will not be able to heal him up in time as I just down this player straight away. Claudette trying to go for a double back sidestep. Show the dead hard. No dead hard. Really good dead hard. But I managed to outweigh it. And we're going to pick up Claudette and kill her. And that was an educational survivor game as clown. Unfortunately, I played really close to the proxy on the hook. I split the pressure when I could. I managed to hold on with only one generator left. It just goes to show you the power of survivors. Unfortunately for them, because I was always under the hook and always around and I looked for my late game three gen strat, which you guys physically saw, that is what allowed me to come back and look at coming in with a 4K, providing that guy doesn't get off the hook right now, which he did. GG's well played, guys. This is not how all my clown games go but if you guys did enjoy it make sure you hit that subscribe button i get it I, there was a little bit of tunneling there's a little bit of camping there's a little bit of there's a lot of camping let's be honest with you guys if you enjoyed the video make sure you hit that subscribe button i do educational survivor and edu uh, killer content mostly where i'm not camping in situations like this but i show you guys all the ropes of the games when to let go of chase when to make a pallet when to rotate when to apply pressure elsewhere and surveillance did help me a lot then anyways guys gg's well played Make sure you slap that subscribe button. I'll pop into the live streams where I stream DVD five days a week. Thank you all for tuning in. And I will see you in the fog in the next video.